Hi everyone, this is Lance Moore, your Tampa Bay Realtor, and this video is for two people. It's for someone who's looking at buying a home and getting a mortgage where you're going to be in the mortgage, but maybe your spouse, relative, or significant other is not on the mortgage and they're on the title. And it's for anyone who's looking at doing a quick claim deed in Florida. All right, so let me just go over something real quick. And, and this is certainly starting off for people who are buying a home. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about quick claim deeds and what's going on there in the Tampa Bay area. I'm sure it's probably going on in different areas of Florida and probably around the United States. So let me go over what happened to a client of mine. It was real unfortunate. This is what's called a 1003 loan app. You're probably familiar with this right here if you've done a loan. So what happened is um, my client, they went out and he was the borrower on the loan, but his wife was not going on the loan, but she wanted to be entitled. So she told the lender when they filled out the paperwork, the 1003, when they filled out everything, and what happened is the lender just put his name right here under title will be held in what names. Just his name was put right here and they i guess they left this blank or something so the title company got it they you know um ended up knowing that obviously they were married so they put his name and you know and they didn't put her name on there for whatever reason so they closed well then what happened is the um they wanted to do a quick claim deed and they could they could draw get the quick claim deed drawn up or, or do it themselves have a title company or someone do it and go down and record it. But what's happening is the county recorder's office in our area are charging people uh, the deed stamps for doing the deed because there's a there's basically a transfer and title going on. And I did this several years ago. I added my wife to a couple of my a couple of the rental properties we bought. It wasn't a big deal. But they're starting to go after people now. So anybody who just wants to do a quick claim deed, you have to be careful and you have to call a title company. Now, I'm just letting you know, I talked to my title company. I would advise you to call a title company. I'm, I don't work for a title company. I'm not an attorney, so call whoever you need to call. I just need to put that out. But it, it my client's looking at paying $1,080 in order to do a quick claim deed, and it, it's just real unfortunate. So I'm sure if it's happening, to one person, it's probably happening to people all over right now because I, the lender just, she, really nice gal, admitted she was wrong and apologized, but you know, obviously it's a little too late. Stuff happens and I want you to know about this stuff. If you're getting a loan and your spouse is not going on the mortgage but wants to go on the title, just verify this before you sign any paperwork. Or if you're looking at just adding someone and doing a quick claim deed, you might want to check it out, do a little research, call some title companies in your area and ask them. Ask them if they're, you know, if they're um, charging, if the county, if they're noticing the county is charging deed stamps. Um, so a lot of states, obviously, they call them transfer tax, so it depends where you're at. I hope this information helps you. If you have any questions at all about buying real estate in the Tampa Bay area, don't hesitate to give me a call. And if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day.